Written by Dr. Yasim Ayaviv. Internet Economy Principles The internet is not a network in itself. It consists of a set of standards that allow field rather than digital computing machines to work together. More specifically, internet standards make it possible to interconnect computer networks and manage them in a completely decentralized mode. In particular, it differs from the operation of a traditional telecommunications network, such as a telephone network, where terminals process information. The functions of information processing and network management are not clearly separated on the Internet. On the Internet, a network device is both a computer terminal and a router. It is also important to use a unified addressing system alongside interface standards. It creates a kind of meta-network that appears from the user's point of view as a functionally seamless system. The equipment interconnected by the Internet is digital information processing tools, mainly microcomputers. The network organizes the communication between these machines based on the client-server model. The client sends requests to the server which processes them and then sends responses. Any device connected to the Internet can be alternately client and server. This is especially true for the two most common applications on the internet. For example, email etc. Sending an email corresponds to a request where the sender asks the recipient whether he agrees to receive the information to be sent. In practice, these operations are handled by permanently connected mail servers to facilitate traffic management as opposed to user terminals. Similarly, when consulting a website, the client sends his request to the computer server where the information is located. This in turn sends it lines of HTML and allows the client to reconstruct the page on the screen. In general, requests and responses are divided into packets of information, identified by their senders and receivers, that travel through the network and are forwarded by Reuters. After transmission, packets reconfigure their initial programming lines. The information is received by the target machine carrying the information content or instructions given to the machine. Thus, it is remotely controlled. For everything to work properly, you must. Each machine connected to the network must be uniquely identifiable. So that the packets of information actually reach the destination, the IP number creates this identifier. An addressing language should allow users to formulate their requests to the appropriate server. Domain names are the visible part of this addressing system. These addresses, which are close to natural language, are converted into machine addresses, IP addresses, by so-called DNS servers. Uniform communication protocols must ensure packet exchange and routing between all machines connected to the network. The IP protocol, Internet protocol, is the heart of numerous technical standards that ensure communication and interoperability between network components. To encode and decode requests and responses transmitted between clients and servers, machines must use compatible programming languages. The HTML language, hypertext markup language, forms the basis of the web in this respect, allowing heterogeneous machines to exchange text, images, data, and sound. The existence of the Internet is therefore due to the use of a unified addressing system, IP numbers and domain names, and standards that ensure interoperability of heterogeneous subnets. Internet Protocol and HTML Therefore, most of the technical regulations of the Internet are based on the management of resources in order to guarantee interoperability. Concretely, this regulation is provided today by three basic mechanisms. ECAN, Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, is a non-profit organization founded in 1998 with the responsibility of managing the allocation of IP numbers and domain names under American law by the Department of Commerce. Either way, these are hierarchical systems where a limited number of routes allow addresses to be created. Thanks to this hierarchical organization, the allocation of addresses can be entrusted to several entities, each of which manages the address portfolio according to its own criteria. ECAN thus oversees two different functions. The first is the distribution of IP addresses provided by the administrators of terminal networks, Internet Service Providers, ISP. The second is the identification of existing routes and the registration of domain names requested by users. The power of ECAN is Network Solution Incorporated, the administrator of the root server of the domain name system, root computer. NSI comes from his instructions. This server contains the source file. 
Therefore, you can may delete the addresses of servers or entities that do not follow the rules it has set, thereby excluding them from the web. This organization often hosts a purely non-technical internet governance mechanism. IETF, Internet Engineering Task Force, is the de facto standardization body for communication protocols. However, it is an organization without a legal existence. Officially, the IETF is one of the working groups of the ISOC, Internet Community, an American law learned society founded by some of the pioneers of the Internet. In particular, it encourages the development of an effective and open network whose benefits will reach as many people as possible. W3C, Fold Wide Web Consortium, is the standardization body for multimedia languages used on the Internet. It is a club open to organizations that can pay relatively high membership fees. Written by Dr. Yasim Ayavith.